TV. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're taking a look at Monster High Ghoul's Night Out series, and we're taking a look at Rochelle Goyle, daughter of the Gargoyle. So, here's Rochelle, as you can probably see. Let's take a closer look at her in today's video review. Let's take a look at Rochelle Goyle. So here we are with Monster High, and we're taking a look at Ghoul's Night Out. So this is Rochelle Goyle, daughter of the Gargoyle, and she is made by Mattel in 2012. So this is the first one I've looked at in the Ghoul's Night Out series. So uh, yeah, here we are with Rochelle Goyle. So this is the first review for Rochelle. Um, obviously she is French in the, you know, in the animated shorts and also in the movies as well. Um, she's got kind of a French accent and that. But anyway, so, yeah, today we're looking at Rochelle Royal. So, as you can see the packaging is different to some of the other Monster High dolls. And that, you can see Rochelle there in the packaging, you got the Monster High logo and beautiful picture of Rochelle there and the skullet emblem yeah, also on the side here we've got Monster High logo there also this is not the only Rochelle in the Monster High series you can get her in the Scaris Sister of Fright series so let's take a look at this here side. We've got Monster High here. Also a couple of stars and a chain going around there. And stars and stuff. And like a purple thing going on. And also it's pink there. On top we've got Rochelle Goyle. There. Let's take a look at the back. Also underneath all the other information in the bottom. So it says here Monster High, and then it shows you that Monster High logo there. It says Rochelle Goyle, daughter of the Gargoyle, and in the wave is Rochelle Goyle, Spectra, and Laguna Blue, as you can probably see. But there is um, some others in the wave as well, I think you can actually get a 5 pack or whatever, um, a box set. Follow the Gulls Night Out series, I think. Yeah, just like those two packs. But anyway, so you got monsterhigh.com there, where you can go on that website there. You got Mattel down there as well, and other things. So, yeah, let's actually open up Rochelle Goyle and have a look at the accessories. Now, the Gulls Night Out series do come with display stands. And I think it's the uh, Ghoul Spirit ones that don't. I do happen to have a Ghoul Spirit. Uh, Most I do. I think it's Venus that we have. But anyway, we'll take a look at her at some point. But just for today, we're taking a look at Rochelle. So, the box is open up the same way as some of the other Most High. And there is actually tabs within here. Keeping the doll in the packaging. Okay, thumb. Oh. So, yeah, there is actually tabs within here. Hold in it. So, if I can just move these tabs. I might be able to get Rochelle out. There's one. Let's 
Here's the back there. So that's no one. All in the car back. There is actually another tab here as well. If I can actually get to it without uh, touching Rochelle. Just get my hand in here. And it's kind of funny that we've got these things holding them in. Is there another one? I think there might be. Again, this is the first time I've opened this on the bottom. So I can actually just uh, untab it on the bottom there. Well, pull it out here on the bottom. Usually, I don't. There we are. Just hopefully, it's there. I'll tap up this bottom here. So there is kind of a little bit of thing going on with packaging. Trying to get things out from that. <clears throat> so, also we got this here. Looks like uh, got an icon here for the wings tab in and stuff. I think for Rochelle there. No. In the stand. I really love how they've done that description there. Instructions how to uh, put on the display stuff. No. We've got a uh, diary here. Just like a little read up of Rochelle. So we've got the Monster High uh, hair comb here, brush. And on the back we have the stand. So that's why they're keeping the Monster High stands back. So, it's kind of different to how the other stands are compared to uh, some of the others. Well, the stand is similar to some of the other ones, it's just uh, packaged differently. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with the uh, Packaging the uh, shell. Okay, what we're going to do. Right, we've got one there is a, a rubber tab here. This is very weird and very different to uh, what I'm used to. Just going to shift that out of the way. And we'll, uh, we'll have her out. As soon as we can. I'm going to uh, deal with all the nonsense on the back here. Over there. No. Yeah, I'm going to deal with these here, the feet. Pan this down here so you guys can 
get a good look at what I'm doing. Okay, so that's that, and that's her legs. And that was that piece there, that was just holding Rochelle in. Looks like the wings do tab in. Uh, plastic. Accessories and stuff. Just held in. I'll try and get the knot. this the bag. And hold in. This is kind of looks like some perfume. No. Oh, no. Sorry about that. So, um, as I was, just uh, about to take this little accessory out. I think it's some uh, perfume, I think. Right there. We do happen to get some uh, wings. These are the wings for Rochelle. So we remove these. And there. And now uh, I think Rochelle's head is actually attached to the thing with those tabs again. It looks like we're going to have to use these, use the scissors to actually cut them. There. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Kind of awkward these little things. There we go, that's one. One there. I think there was another one somewhere. Yep, that was correct. There's one more. There's another one. Right, so I'll just try and get rush out.
her scarf then. Just going to put that on the floor. And uh, I'm just going to check for those things. Those little uh, things at back of her hair and stuff like that. I want to make sure uh, there's none of those deal with the no so just gonna take out the screen for a few minutes. What I'm gonna do That's that one out outside. them in there like that. Okay, I think they're all out. And her hair is absolutely all over the place. Okay, we've got another one in the tags. That's I think. I think yeah, it's in there. She has these little things holding her hair in. Not. I'm not supposed to just hold her hair. Here. 
So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Unless I can do something about that. So, yeah, we will get the actual things on her. I'm just going to sort out this thing. Her uh, little things, I'm just going to sort those two out. Uh, this one here. Good thing that uh, that brush alcohol is from hair clips.
I'm not being all over the place. I'll try to spell this out. Better. She actually has her uh, trademark her hair clips in her hair now. As you can probably see, she has those trademark hair clips in. Alright, it's a little bit messy. Can you show that out? I guess. It's better. Looks a lot better. A lot more presentable. So, that's that. I'll show you how to um, put the gel wings on so on the back if we can just we've got to go, um our shells hair out of the way there's actually tabs here you can see there's tabs in there for the wings so this pair of wings should uh go on the back so that one just has in there. Just like that should do. I don't want to put any pressure on it just in case it might want to pop out. Anything like that. Just don't want to put any Right. That one just tabs in there, and the one tabs in the same way. Just move the uh, other way. You can see the light slot in there, and it's kind of awkward with the uh, the dress. It's kind of awkward. Get on in there. Okay, that seems to be in. Right, so there you go. She's got the gargoyle wings now. That. Eventually. Move her hair a little bit out of the way. Yet again, no, it's no uh, going. Because right, it's all over the place. I don't know why some of their hair goes all over the place. Just don't get it. Just don't get it. The wings are the easiest part to put in. No. Got all the basic articulation here and stuff like that. Arms and elbows and all sorts thing. In the joints as well. Goes in and out a little bit. No. Get a good look at those shoes. That kind of looks like things from like railings, those type of 
things on top. And that. Some fences or whatever it is. Blade kind of wants to. Yeah. Look at that really nice outfit. Really cool indeed. Really love the uh, scarf that she's got. Yeah, really love that. Hair all over the place here. And that. Arms and stuff. She has the head articulation as well. No. And that uh, oh, kind of wants to bend a little. Just sew this out again. I'll show you how to build up the stand in a minute. So. I'll get to the little accessories in a few minutes. The shoes are really, really nice. Love the silver on there and that. So that's that. You got the bracelets with the same. Little icon on there, nails, hands on that. Got kind of like a tone color in there, like a gray, and then we've got some more uh, stuff going on. A little bits of green in there, kind of like a stone type color. She's got pink lipstick on and, and that. Very nicely detailed, love the hair color. That, so I'll just put it down there. Put the bag here as well, which is open. So I got the bag and I got that same fence type of gargoyle up to it. Like a handbag. Build up the stand now. The stand is similar to the. Uh, Scare City of Frights and the Thirteen Wishes line, and obviously the um, Ghouls Night Out. Takes a while to get them out of the packaging and stuff like that. So that's the stand. Make sure it's correct. Just gonna put this down here. Hopefully, we can actually get her on the stand. Ease that down there. Yeah, let's actually put Rochelle on the stand. Hopefully we can. And that's um, obviously with the wings. I'd, I'm hoping that's not the case. Trying to position her right on the stand. There we go. Those wings that look fine. Sturdy. Just check. Yep. Got that scarf kind of hanging back over there. And that. Just a look on the thing. It kind of looks like it wants to flow down. That's how she has it, apparently. So the scarf wants to be flowing down. Okay, and the scarf around here kind of wants to flow down like that. Something. Kind of wants to flow to the side here. That one kind of wants to flow to there. Okay. Yeah. Have her with the uh, 
pan on a hip. Kind of like that. her doing this, like, holding her uh, purse and stuff. I don't know, at some point that leg kind of wants to go over to that side there, I suppose. I don't know. Kind of Give her hair a quick brush. Kind of messy again. Just want to mess around with it. I don't want to just, you know, come around to you. That was being all messy. Brush out with messy hair. Yeah, there you go, that's that. Mm -hmm. So the packaging. Okay, I want you to be right in front of her face, this thing. Just sit to the side though. Not if I can just take it off and do it again. There we go, that's better. That looks a lot better than before. Now I've got this little loop thing going on there. That looks a lot better for Rochelle. I like that. I think Rochelle is one of my favorites. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Okay, there we go. Let's get on with these other accessories. I know I had to mess around a little bit with her. Got kind of a uh, phone or a tablet looking thing. Very good look at that. There we go. Very cool. And it's got Monster High on the back there. The little Skullet logo, which is nice. No. You can actually have a just uh, hold in it, I suppose, like that. Seems a good pose. A little perfume thing. Okay. See? Really nice detail on that. Kind of fits uh, Rochelle uh, perfectly because it's pink and silver. No. Can I put that in the handbag here? Oh, monster. Yeah. I put it down there like that. Also, she does happen to have a compact, as you can see, for some makeup. A good look at that. Very nicely detailed and silver there, and it's pink. Also, it does close as well. Very nice. And also, you can put that in here as well. I'll show you there. There you go, it's in there. Like that. That's cool. Really loving the uh, bag. The handle is all. It's big and also it's got some silver going on there. Obviously, you can put it over a hand like this. Let's, let's have a look at that there. So it's kind of like 
this, no? Over with the finger. Now I'll start a new one. And have something like that. Now, I think Rochelle is ready for going out. Also, got that little bone looking thing. I'll show you Rochelle in a minute. On here. I'll actually put her on here. I love it when they come with display stands. That's the best thing about the Monster High series. Stands and uh, the characters. No. Okay, I'll just put that in the hand and make her hand there and kind of balance it. It's kind of <laughs> wobbling around at the moment. Alright, so let's have a look at the uh, thing that's come with her. Her diary it says Ghoul's Night Out right there. It says Ghoul's Night Out and it says Rochelle Goyle. On the back there, you got the Monster High logo stuff. And, oh look. Oh, there's Kitty Noir. Yeah, I say Kitty. Oh, is it Catty? Catty Noir. There's Laguna. And Rochelle. Got that same uh, pattern again for Rochelle. We got some others in here. We got Venus, Laguna, Gulia, Spectra, Dodine. Yeah, and what's the name in the back there? Cat in Noir. There's Noir there. And Rochelle Goyle. And a nice photo of her as well. Love the artwork in this little book. And that's pretty much it. That, just a little booklet, no writing, just some photos of Laguna and Rochelle and Catherine Noir. No. She actually appeared in uh, 13 Wishes at the end. No. I'll have to have a look for that one. So yeah, that's the Ghoul's Night Out, uh, Rochelle Goyle. No. No. No, very nice. So let's actually go to my final thoughts of her, but I'm going to have a look at her before we go. So you guys can get a really good look at Rochelle. And that's a really good look at her. I love the details on her outfit and stuff. And that. So these are the Ghoul's Night Out Most High Dolls. Um, Rochelle's the actual first one I actually got uh, that I picked up. So, yeah. Loving those uh, shoes there. Those high heels. In there. Very nice. Comes with two little uh, hair clips and that. Kind of sorts her hair out between uh, all the other ones. And obviously she's got pink hair and some blue in there as well, and green. Or blue, um, turquoise I suppose. In there. Just gonna try and sort this shoe out here. I think it's kind of... And a little bit. Kind of warped. Now her high heel. And then leg down. Yeah. Bring that there. So there you go. Uh, Rochelle Boyle. It's one of my final thoughts. I'm just going to sort this hair problem out here. It likes to go crazy. Where's the hairdo? Like I said earlier, she's one of my favourites. Besides anybody else. Very cool indeed. Just not my phone out of her 
and uh, tablet. Let's put that tablet there. Uh, like uh, it just sits there. And that. So yeah, there you go. That's Rochelle Goyle. That uh, I'm just going to uh, zoom up and stuff so you guys can get a good look at it. There's the shoes, the outfit, and there's her herself. Yeah, can I get a good look at that? Very cool indeed. from the back again. I said sometimes the hair can be really crazy the back you know. and that you can probably see the wings there poking out absolutely fantastic no just really really I didn't know what to expect from the Ghoul's Night Out series because obviously this is the first one I've actually looked at um, so yeah Rochelle Goyle very nice indeed and uh, just going to uh, just going to put this uh, Look back here. Yeah. So I'll just go into my final thoughts now and uh, say a few things about her and that. It takes a little while to get, actually get these out of the packaging. I, I actually do know that. Um, it does take time. Yeah. Insert in here in the back here. Each character is different, but apart from that, every one of them are tied down in the back of the packaging. It's not just uh, Rochelle, it's every one of them. Away. But anyway, before we go, that's what the hairbrush looks like. We've got the Monster High logo there, and it's in the shape of this Skullet logo, and on the back there. This is the same hair comb that is packaged with the uh, 13 Wishes, and I'm trying to think of what else is it packaged with. Yeah, Scarus, City of Frights line, and also the... Um, some of the other Monster High dolls as well, so I know it's really hard to think of which series actually do have the same hair comb, but all of them do kind of have similar similar ones. And that's uh... okay. Let's go to my final thoughts. I really do. Love this series, it's it's amazing. So Okay, final thoughts for Rochelle Goyle. Hopefully you've you enjoyed uh having a look at her because obviously it took me some time to actually get her out the packaging. And it actually does take a little bit of messing around to do. I uh, just want to show off how how you can actually remove them out of the packaging you know, rather than uh, you know here she is in the packaging and here she is out of the packaging I like to show you how long it would take to get them out of the packaging so it's kind of a thing what I'm trying to do at the moment I'm trying to show you how long it takes to actually get them out even doesn't matter which set there is 
Um, but anyway, overall, Rochelle Goyal, very beautiful, very nice. Um, the wings are easy to clip on the back. It actually shows you on the insert the little uh, grey ins instructions that comes with uh, this doll. This must die doll. Um, the handbag beautifully detailed it can actually fit her accessories in there which is open and uh, it's not just one full sealed accessory you can, it actually does open up a little bit so you can actually just uh, slide in that little perfume bottle and um, the compact for a makeup and obviously you can put the um, is it pad, you know, a tablet or a phone, whatever it is she has there, um, and that eye coffin or whatever, or, and that, because it is shaped in a, as a coffin, that accessory there that she's holding, but overall, really beautiful detail, very easy to remove uh, the packaging. Um, obviously you've got those little tags at the back of their head for some of them on side dolls, every one of them has it. But overall, I think the detail is perfect, spot on. Um, I can't see anything wrong with uh, my variation of Rochelle, because I know sometimes they do tend to have a little bit of uh, a ding here and there sometimes on the faces and hair messy inside the packaging always check um, the detail and whatever before you come out to the store just to make sure they're perfect but overall I absolutely love this character she's a great addition to any Monster High collection um, just absolutely adore Rochelle I think she's absolutely one of my favorites uh, alongside Frankie and Dracula and everybody else um, yeah just really highly recommend picking her up uh, if you can find her in a regular form which is the one she comes with a pet definitely pick that one up obviously I haven't seen it yet but I'm thinking I'm going to pick up the Scarus City of Frights Rochelle. Hopefully I can find one of them. But for now, uh, the Ghoul's Night out. Uh, Monster High dolls are around still. And that's, uh, definitely check out those. And I think they all actually do come with stands. I'm not uh, sure on some of them, but. For now, most of these do actually do come with stands, and I do happen to have one that doesn't. But overall, detail, perfect, outfit, very beautifully, well done. Love the accessories, the stand, still the same as the others, very useful, and it's great that they do include stands, and I'm just so happy to have Rochelle and uh yeah so that's pretty much all i have to say and until next time take care everybody and here's a quick display video showing rochelle goyle on display and we have plenty monster high reviews coming up very shortly we have a two-pack featuring draculaura and her favorite uh guy or ghoul all monster and that's uh and obviously we have venus coming up soon so watch out for those reviews and uh we will probably take a look at some of the frights camera action monster dolls very soon but until then thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you guys very very soon hopefully you enjoyed this review i know it took some time to get out of the packaging and obviously you know sourcing everything else out on her and stuff like that the wings 
in that in the hair. But overall, very good Monster High doll. Definitely recommend her. And that's pretty much all I have to say. And I'll see you guys very very soon. Until then, take care. And if you have any questions or comments about Monster High, leave a comment below in the video or video response as well. And uh, yeah, until then, take care. See you guys very soon. And you can always watch plenty of Monster High reviews on Q10 Mini Figures TV on YouTube. Until then, take care, everybody. I'll see you guys very soon. Have a great day, everybody. So this is Rochelle Goyle from Monster High Girls Night Out series. And as you can see, she looks pretty cool on display. Very nice indeed. And that, they're the very first one from the Gold Night Out series. Definitely highly recommend picking her up and add into your Monster High collection. And that, so there you go. There's Rochelle Goyle. Until next time, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Another review. Till then, see you guys very soon. Cute anime, biggest TV.